All this week, the debate has continued over guns and violence in America. But amid all the talk about background checks, magazine clips, there is one statistic you should know. A huge percentage of the guns out on the street are stolen, and hundreds of thousands of those turn out to be stolen from homes in your neighborhood. ABC senior Justice Department correspondent Pierre Thomas decided to investigate. You're looking at a New Mexico Walmart on Christmas Day. Mass thieves stealing rifle after rifle. This is a robbery in progress in Colorado. But these young crooks are not there to steal cash. They're there for the guns. And watch as thieves in South Carolina ram this stolen SUV right through the front door of this gun store. See right there? That's a rifle. Smash and grabs at gun stores happening across the country. Gun stores are the candy store for criminals. Nearly 25,000 guns per year are lost or stolen from gun dealers. But it may surprise you that an estimated 230,000 guns annually, roughly 10 times more, are stolen in home burglaries and property crime. Watch these thieves caught on tape breaking into a California home. Jackpot, they find a gun. Any burglar that goes in a house and finds guns, their eyes are going to light up and that's the first thing they're going to take. Some estimates show nearly half of American adults owning guns. And the crooks know it, breaking into homes for the hot commodity. Stolen guns like these recovered in an ATF sting often flow right into the hands of criminals, including convicted felons who are prohibited from buying or possessing firearms. Talk to any criminal. They can find a gun within an hour or two. If, if a gun is stolen and it's a, a cheaper price model, you can buy it for $50. We're getting calls for gunshots in the area. We saw evidence of the deadly pipeline firsthand during a recent trip to Philadelphia. Gun arrests are made every single night. In all, six people shot in a span of only a few hours. Nearly 3,000 people were shot here last year. 3,500 guns recovered, many of them stolen. The detective ran this particular gun and mm -hmm. it came back stolen back in 2005. Really? So it's been on the street for seven years now. With the debate raging, if some guns get harder to buy, authorities say it will be even more important for retailers to fortify their buildings. And to gun owners at home, police say keep your guns out of public view and secure in a safe. Here, Thomas, ABC News, Washington.